Warren Withrop with Coach Sean Driscoll. I'm Bill Newell along with uh, Tim Kearns. And uh, Coach, uh, 2017 season starts up this week. So yes, what's your does. outlook? Well, we're a young football team. We got in, um, we got seven seniors, 10 juniors, and eight sophomores. But we have a huge freshman class coming in the door with 18. So a very young team. There's been a lot of teaching, a lot of learning going on. Uh, last couple of uh, last couple of weeks, but uh, I like that group. We, we got we have some athletes, and just things are starting to come together. A little slower with the younger one, younger group, but um, we're, we're pleased where we're at so far. Coach, of a large freshman group, uh, do you intend to keep all those guys together and play freshman team? I know a lot of schools are getting into the aspect of of not having either a freshman or a JV team right. and can combining you in the JV or just going freshman in the rest of We're going to be a sub varsity team of mostly freshmen and a few sophomores. All our juniors will play varsity and we're going to have three, uh, two or three of the freshmen starting on Friday night. Too. So it's going to be interesting to see. We haven't had that at Winthrop High School in some time, but you go through those cycles where, you know, one year we had 15 seniors and last year we had 11 it's up and down and they're always in a small school and everyone struggles with that. But we're going to see how it goes. Sometimes it works to our benefit, I think, when young people get the place so you see where you're at, what the future's going to be. Coach, I asked you just before we started the interview, you have a young lady on the team this year. Yes, actually, we have two. We have a senior, uh, Sierra O'Connor. She's out this year for a year with us. And we have a freshman, Kali Harris, who came, came aboard this year. Yeah, it seems to be more and more a uh, uh, popular idea for, for girls to go out for for football and playing eventually some really important roles. Yeah, you see it, you see it more and more across the league, across the state. You, you read stories about it. Um, it, it you know, it, it's, it's good. They don't have the opportunity to play uh, girls football, obviously, except for their powder puff season. But other than that, it, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for the school. From last year's team, what have, what have you lost? What are the most significant losses? And what are the most significant returning players? Well, right? I, I will tell you, my uh, returning players, uh, our offensive and defensive line, Calvin Tufa. He's been a four-year player for us. Been fabulous, been great, out of hard work, and looking to play at the next level. He's had a great camp, come in great shape. You know, we have uh, Jake, Jake Adamson, who's going to be our quarterback, and, and uh, one of our defensive backs. He's going to be a, a senior leader. And last year, you know, we had uh, Jaden Brown as a junior, but a lot of the times he was out, he had some nagging injuries here or there, and he's been doing pretty good for camp. So we're looking forward to having a healthy, healthy Jaden for the year. What about scrimmages? Any, any notes from them? Yeah, we, we started, we opened up the scrimmage schedule with Beverly, and you know Beverly, they're always tough, and they get a lot of large numbers and stuff. But we hung along for the first ad. He had some base stuff in, ready to go, and it was a good workout. We got a little taste of it, I think. And then, you know, we got in in the middle of the week. We played East Boston in the special teams and passing scrimmage, and we took a little step there. And then we had the Jamboree over in Everett. Uh, Friday night, we played Malden, and we, we didn't really do as good as we did the first couple of ones. We kind of just kind of flatlined a little bit compared to uh, the other two scrimmages. So we're trying to preach and prove in each week, each day, you know, from the time you start in school, each period, get through the day and come down and try to get better. When you're dealing with a young young team, that's what you got to really look for is take out the positives each day. How much has the uh, refurbishment, the rebuilding, basically, of, of Miller Field played into the minds of the kids that are getting forward to look forward to playing on that new surface? Well, they're going to, they're, look, they're looking forward to getting it ready. Hopefully it's done sometimes by, by the end of the year, we're hoping, hopefully by Thanksgiving. But other than that, it does get frustrating a lot. I think a lot of the parents are frustrated and, and, and for the, the length it's taking. But there is there is some objects there of concern with the where it's built and on the water and the level and all that. Ask so, Lostra about that. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm sure, yeah. Same type of deal. So there's been a lot of engineering to it, I think, which set us back a little bit. But it's going smooth. They're ahead of schedule, it looks like, and as long as the weather stays good, we should be hopefully be able to get our game in by Thanksgiving. So you're practicing on the baseball field right Yeah, we've practiced over here. We're back to here. Before, we were two years at a different school in the back behind there, and then we were out in the game field for a year last year because it wasn't ready to, for the construction to start, and now we're back over here, which which we consider home. That's where we were for a lot of years, and now we're back here, you know. Final question, Coach. What about the league? Any, any, what, what have you heard about the league? You're in that Tier 3 in the Northeastern yeah. Conference. Yeah. I don't know if you want to be specific to that, but what else have you... What else can you share? With well, us here, we're hearing some great, great things about the teams in the league. Is obviously, you know, you know, Swamp's gets going to be a well improved team from last year, I believe. And I also, you know, think that everyone else from there just kind of is kind of the same, you know, and the same amount of kids. And, and for the most part, I, I think that's what we're seeing. We, I think, um, you will see with this merger now. That developed even more, where I think you get people in the same division still. But you know, our rivals are there. Swamps get Saugus. You know, you know, we bear as a non-league game, but we still play them on, on Thanksgiving. And we got Lit English as well in our, in our league now, which is very talented, a lot of athletes. So 
Yeah, we were looking forward to get into the schedule. You know, it's the first time I think we're playing Medford in a real game, week two. So it's some changes, but you know what? We're, we're looking forward to it. We're, we're excited about the season and trying to get better each week. But that's and that's but that's the youth preach. When we've talked on Monday nights with with Rick, that's that's the one thing that you've you've always preached is get better every week. And you should see you should see those tangible development steps. Right, especially with a young team. Like you said, you, you start with the basics and you, and you take your time, you take your time. And we've been, you know, doing a good job as coaches, I think, pointing out the positive stuff and then the not so positive stuff and trying to correct and add to the positive list. So we've been trying to do a good job organizing that. But I, I will tell you with a young team, it does get frustrating at times, but they're starting to figure out and we're, we're two weeks in. So we'll see, hopefully it comes together Friday night. We can hold our own. I'm sure Davis is good, uh, quite the team there as they do the last couple of years. Good luck in, uh, in Danvers. All right. Great. See you then. Thank you. Thank you. Coach Shad Risco, Winthrop Football. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.